So as you can see, it's a half inch bolt. And that's where you put the half inch screw and it locks with the pin. All right, so naturally you, you go on Amazon, you buy the half inch hitch lock. Nope. This is why I've been using the ghetto cable technique, but I thought maybe this was like a defective one from Kurt or something. And the funny part is Amazon messed up. They didn't ship it. And um, then they shipped out another one. So I had two, so I gave it away. But they're both don't fit. I don't understand it. This this is what it says for is one and a quarter. And they're both half inch. Why is this not fitting? Do I get a smaller hitch lock? Because you know, I think it with the cable anyway, it, it's uh it's been dragging for a long time now. <laughs> Despite having zip ties of holding it up. So I mean, do I just I mean it's it's close. I don't necessarily want to like drill a hole out a tiny bit, you know, because it'll compromise. It's there's no, really not much there to work with. But at the same time, I don't want to spend another thirty dollars on a hitch lock, and I don't want to do this ghetto cable thing. These reflective stickers are very nice, by the way. So I don't know. Maybe in my brain, I'm not good at math. So, but if it's for a one and a quarter hitch, and they're both half inch, and this is what it says for, why is it not fitting? Like it, it, yeah, no, not not happening, not happening, not happening. So now I have this brand new hitch lock that maybe I'll just give away to. That sucks though, because these things are like twenty bucks each. I basically got two for like twenty five bucks without tax, but I want to just be able to lock it in and be done and not have to worry about the stupid cable. And then all I need is the anti-rattle thing that goes right here. I'm going to go buy a new bolt at Home Depot because the other one's kind of old and cruddy anyway. So, but, you know, the plan will have to get a bolt, new bolt, new everything, put it in there. Get some kind of anti-rattle thing and be good to go. But, I mean, I guess I'm going a little bit smaller on a hitch lock, but that's crazy. It should fit. That's what it's for. picture in a second and send it to somebody on. So if you have any input um, with hitches and locks, and because this is all new to me, I got the right hitch for my car, I got the right bike rack for class and everything like that, but I think I might need to tighten these. I'm going to check these to make sure they're nice and tight because this thing is quite wobbly, but this bike rack has been holding up great. You know, Spray down a little silicone spray once in a while and we're good to go. Sadly, that's the only part that I need to fix. It does rattle, but I haven't had a problem with that. I don't have the anti-rattle shim thing, but it goes in, as you can see, all the way this far, so it's not like it's going to fall off, and it's got a bolt in there. If I can get the lock in there, it'd be even better. And I can get rid of this mess, but I don't, don't want to spend more money on a lock that I don't have. Or maybe I'll just sell this one for 10 bucks. Brand new lock, never used. Work. 